nonsense. It looks nothing like a falling star. Well, what is it then? How am I supposed to know? Just on luck. We landed right in the middle of a city. Not to mention we're out of power. The helm is out of whack. You should be happy to be alive. I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP3. What do we do now? Something. 
You scout around and find a way to contact the Dimple. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. Be careful. Thanks. You too, Mirage. Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay. Be careful. against our legion, sire. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence will do us no harm. Right, Albert? <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. They'll talk before long. The Inquisitor, he always seems to enjoy his weapon too much. He is the best. As long as they do not die, we are not barbarians. Even prisoners have certain rights. You speak of certainties. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. If they die as a result, then so be it. You've grown much too soft in your old age, Walter. Compared to you, that may be true. Necessary, but I think your men have a tendency to take things too far. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. If that's too much trouble, I'll be happy to take care of them. We know what we have to do, my lord. Don't worry. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough before they croak. I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to hang over such matters. Indeed, it is not. Vox, continue your interrogation. Voltar and Alba, return to your posts. We are counting on your knights. You are the pride of our great kingdom. Yes, yes sir. sir.
Why don't you just spit it out? Play nice. What was that? A new Aquarian weapon, eh? torture than you are. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. Uh, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah. It would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt too. Very funny. Say... Do you know what Aquaria is? Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the Eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <clears throat> Damn! They're too tight! I can't move at all! Um, that's why they call them restraints? Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. Bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Venditti captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. You'll see. And who would that somebody be? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. What? Oh. <laughs> Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey! You have two options. Accept my conditions and live. Or refuse and die here. It's your choice. What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's
That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell in the town, correct? We want your technology. Our technology? We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well... What would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. With our side victorious, of course. Hold on a minute. Your country? So, you're not one of the people that threw us in here? No, I'm not from Ariglyph. I'm from Aquaria. sense now. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Ariglyph. Why not help me? Good point. We'll help you. What are you saying? Give us a moment, all right? Shut your trap, kid. Technology? Look, all they need is a little college physics. I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. And again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like... Just like who? Huh? Did I say something? Never mind, kid. I'm minding. Forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, he must be in Eric right now. This place is at war with her country, Aquarium. With me so far? Yeah. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. That makes sense. A big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else could they be? Out their terms will be any better. Yeah, but... So what I'm saying is, if we're gonna cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. You know what I mean? I can't believe this. You're insane. Well, okay. Let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. Just wait for our chance and make a run for it. We're not doing much better here prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad, huh? I figured you'd want to meet him in this light, not the next. out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us, too? Don't move. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. You said you'd cooperate with us. Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run, either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Yeah. Hey, she heard us. I should thank you for calling me hot, the chick I can live without. Scary. I'm Nell Zelfer, 
Agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. My name's Nate Lygod, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff, my pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here in? What do we tell her? Just follow my lead. from a country on a continent part of the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it, but we've got some pretty solid technology. From the east? One of the countries in Greeton? Not the country that invaded Aquaria. Is that what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Ericlin? Well, the long story would take all day, so I'll give you the short version. Fate's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. Then we ended up here. I see. So you are from Greeton, I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. Well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Ereglef have you. You must cooperate with us. Exactly. Yes, well... <laughs> What's going on down here? Hey, you... What? They're changing the guard already. You two, you have any fighting experience? Huh? Why? Because you're about to get some. Don't you worry about us. You could say we're above average. You might be able to fight with your bare hands, but I need some kind of weapon. I thought this might happen. In there. What's this? You're stuck. I got a bag for you. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Fate, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. Thank you. that wind their way under the city. Aqueducts, huh? Hey, it's all frozen over. This comes as a surprise to you? It is winter in Ereglyph. Didn't you see the snow falling outside? Hmm, good point. Careful. You're no good to us if you fall in the water and freeze to death. Scary. Let's get moving. This way leads to the city, if we can make it through.
treacherous. We'll have to walk carefully. Right. to the east. 